All right, guys. So I brought you here because I need to return a favor that I owe some mafia guys. So we are going to have to do some missions for them. What exactly did they do for you? Yeah, John, what did they do for you? Why are you calling me by my middle name, Biden? I'll talk about what they did for me later, but right now, let's just get this done. First, we are going to have to meet up with them. Are you sure this is safe, Trump? I mean, these are mafia guys. We are the presidents of the United States of America. Even if they are from the mafia, we still can do this. Even if they try to backdoor us, we won't stop. All right, Mr. Maga, let's get going then. I wonder what type of tasks they're going to make us do. With all due respect, even though you asked us for help to pay back a favor, Donald, which proves you can't do it by yourself, I'm ready for anything. Obama, if you don't be quiet, I've accomplished more than you. Show me a billion dollars. Oh, wait, you can't. I know for a fact you're not talking Trump. That's why you tried to overturn the 2020 election and still lost to me. Yeah, Trump, how did you lose to little old Joey over there? Respectfully, I am the best president in this group. Be quiet, Barack. That's why I'm going to see Michelle right after this. But let's focus on the task at hand now and think of a game plan. Well, Trump, since you're the best shooter here, I think you should do everything while I sleep. How does that sound? I'm getting old here. I can't carry the team on my back, you know? You aren't carrying anything on your back, old man. And yes, I think you should just sleep while me and Trump do everything and take the credit for it. That sounds really good. I have no problem with that. No problem with that, man. Yeah, so Biden, we are on board with the idea. And Biden, remember when I was saying I was going to see Jill? She is a very nice lady. Why aren't you responding? Biden, let me just turn around. Wake up, Biden. We are almost there. The 44th. Why are you waking me up? Not going to lie, Biden. You are a nerd. Why did you say the 44th? Stay by the car while I go talk to security. Hey, yo, man in the black suit, what's good? Come over here. Let me talk to you. Better hurry up before I call the boss. Calm down. This is the president of the United States of America. Hello, Mr. 45th. I'm afraid you come too early. Come back at night, and that's when the first mission will start. Try anything funny and you know what's next. Aren't you Russian? I am a translator. Even though I owe you guys, I can't deny you are a bunch of crooks. Watch your step, you thug. You just stepped on my foot. Have fun running there, you sack of criminals. I can't believe I'm working with the mafia. Why did you let them help you, Trump? It's a long story, man, a long story, Mr. Obama. We can talk about it after we get some McDonald's and maybe some meatloaf over at my place. What is it, Obama? And you eat meatloaf? Just tell us the game plan. We're going to retrieve a highly classified suitcase with information about their organization. Is it more classified than the documents at Mar-a-Lago? Don't believe the media. It's fake news. Biden, it's fake news. Sure, it's fake news, but I feel like you, Donald. I feel like being motivational. Guys, whatever happens, whatever goes on, we will win this and come out unscathed. We are the presidents of the United States of America. We can do anything as long as we set our minds to it. Man, Obama, I really didn't need to hear your life story, but that made me shed a tear. All right, we are here. Trump time for you to lock in. Where are you, you criminals? Don't draw attention to the car. We are going in guns blazing, but we need the car to be intact. Who are you screaming at you guys by the houses? This is Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Give us back the case. I said give it back now before I light this city up. Why did you shoot the rockets, Biden? Are you good? Now look what you did, Biden. I mafia guy in the front. Help us out here. Eat this American pride, baby. Did anyone tell you guys to respect your elders? I guess we got to teach it to them, Robinette. Where is the case? Tell us now before the full force of the United States military is unleashed. You really thought they were going to buy that bluff. They know they're screwed. We are the presidents of the United States of America. This guy had the case. Let me grab it. That's a relief because my jacket is full of bullet holes. If it wasn't for this vest, I don't know where I would be. So you're saying you can't duck and weave, aren't you and Trump basically the same age, like a three-year difference? Just get in the car and be quiet. We hey, you mafia guy, why are you shooting our car? You better stop before I launch this nuke at you. Not going to lie, Trump run him over. He doesn't know how expensive this car is. Thankfully, his entire crew will pay for this once we are done with this. Come here, you criminal man. I can't believe I'm helping you guys, but I do owe you a favor. This is for the USA America on top. So where to next, Trump? Is it something exciting? No, we have to head back for the next mission. Well, since we have time. Trump, I really like what your mother did with her meatloaf recipe. I know I said it was probably bad, but can you slide me the recipe? But instead of going to McDonald's, can we go to something healthier? Depends on what you want. I ain't giving you a meatloaf recipe after you said little meatloaf. Man, Obama, you have been yapping this entire time about staying fit and healthy. Can you calm down? I'm 80 and I'm fine. It's just important to pay attention to your health, Mrs. Leaphead. 
You blacked out 10 times during this conversation. You need to stay healthy and stay alert. Yeah, and I'd be saying the craziest things when he's asleep. Glad he doesn't hear them. What did you say, Lil John? Nothing, man, nothing at all. Man, every time I see these guys, it just makes me really angry. What they did for you must have been important, or else we wouldn't be working with them. All the bad they do to our citizens. Stay on alert. They might try to pull something funny. All right, so what we're going to have to do is grab that guy over there by those two mafia guys, and we are going to escort him with our car. We are going to have to wait for his truck to load, though. With the things we need escorted, it's very valuable. So expect a lot of enemies, more than we faced when we got the briefcase. So while it loads, let's just hang out by the pool and look at the view, I guess. Hold on, let me just check the surroundings to make sure they don't got any hidden snipers or something like that. Trump, I have a really important question. How did you get Melania? I mean, your riz has to be good. Because isn't she like 53 and you're like 77? I couldn't imagine how you pulled her. Slide me some tips. I mean, I have a wife, but it may be good to impart to my children. Well, Biden, I'm not Trump, but I can answer that pretty easily. She's a gold digger. And what Trump has that you don't is a large amount of bread or money since you're old. But my lovely Michelle was with me from day one. Ooh, I was about to say something, Mr. Hussein, but let's focus on the game plan. So we are escorting a truck with goods. Are you guys good at shooting out windows? I can't breathe. Stay in the pool, Biden. It's best for all of us. And yes, I should be able to do it. Mr. Donald Duck, why can't you just call me Obama? Because it means small, handsome one. Get it? Small, handsome one. I'm holding my laughter back. Why are you staring at me like that? Why are you staring at me like that? That wasn't funny at all, Trump. That wasn't funny at all. Grow up. I want you to look over at the horizon and think about what you are imparting to the world. Stay in the corner because that joke wasn't funny at all. Think of what you did and how you can improve. Think about how you can be better. Think about how what you did can ruin Obama's day. Obama is a strong, bright man with a bright future ahead of him. You're supposed to be a United States president, Mr. Trump, and you're acting like a child. So I want you to take this time to think about what you did. I'm sorry, Obama, for everything. I'm sorry for secretly thinking to myself how lame this guy was at my inauguration. I'm sorry for everything I did. Really, I mean it, and I'll try to be better. Now, that was a break of character. Ain't no way we actually got Donald J. Trump Jr. or whatever to apologize I'm about to laugh. Facts, but the truck is loaded, so let's go. Screw you guys. Man, this is about to be a lame and boring drive with these two Democrats. What did you say? I didn't say anything small. One Again, with that name, Trump. Trump, I have to ask you, how did you feel when Pence said he's running against you? It's like that one song by Dirk, Don't Get Snaked by Your Homie. But you actually got snaked by your homie. That has to have some implications on you, doesn't it? I mean, he was your right-hand man for years. Hey, hey, man, what do I have to say? I'm winning 2024 without him. I'm just going to get a nice lady to be my vice president instead. No, I'm winning 2024. You're 80 Biden. You'd be 85 by the time you finish. Just retire. No, I won't let Trump lead this country. You saw what happened when we let him. First, he tried to fake an election, which I still won, which was crazy, and he called it a hoax. He wasted our money on a wall to make America quote unquote greater. Yeah, so shut your trap, Biden. We have been arguing back and forth this entire ride, but we are finally close to the truck. Finally time for some action. You guys have been giving me a massive headache. This is why two different parties, especially you, Joe, and you, John, can't be in the same area. Are they transporting drugs? Oh, Trump, you better have a good excuse for letting these guys help you. Hey, you thugs. Just to let you know, we'll find out who you're distributing these drugs to and take them down. They aren't going to respond. It's the mafia they need to keep a high profile, and concealing their voice is one of them, except that one security guard. I don't know why he was talking back to me. Can you guys hurry up? You guys said it was done loading, but I guess y'all was lying. This is taking too long. I'm about to fall asleep. You don't want to mess with me. I'll blow up your whole organization. I wouldn't do that if I was you, Biden. We got to show them mercy, you know? And doing this is a perfect way to show it. Yeah, Biden wasn't lying. Can you all hurry up? It's taking too long. I have my wife in a bed to see tonight. I owe you guys this, but really, you don't need to treat it like we are friends because we aren't, and I'm not an Uber. I'm not going to wait. Finally, y'all is done, but let me just uh, impart some motivational words before we go into this, guys. Reminder, we are the presidents of the United States of America. We were born for this task, and we will see it through. No matter who it's for, no matter what we have to do, we will always accomplish the tasks we need to accomplish and never give up. Screw you, Mafia guys. Go run, you bunch of criminals. Also, Mr. Barack, that speech was amazing. You were born to do things like that. How about you watch out, you thug? 
No one said I couldn't hurt you. Why is bro doing that? Yo, why is he doing that? What are you watching, Biden? I'm watching Aiden Ross stream because he said he had Kim Jong-un on and that could be a threat to national security. Turns out it's a fake and he's sitting in his room on his gaming chair, toes up picking his boogers and eating it. I can't believe he tricked so many people though. I gotta take notes. Guys, I think I hear something following us. I'm deploying motors. You really think they would try attacking us on an open street? Yeah, you're tripping Trump. Stop trying to scare us. That's a helicopter drive drive. We're gonna have to hop out of the car because I know your aim is really bad. I need to find a good spot to hop off, so we are just going to have to weave the bullets. Without this bulletproof glass, we would have been done for already. Thank the Lord for military tech. We are going to go onto this highway and hop out of the car guns blazing, because then we will be basically on equal ground, I think. I'm not good at math. So we are ready for anything, Trump. We are ready for anything. Thank you, guys. Whatever happens, don't forget we are United States presidents. All right, I'm ready to drop a full mag on these guys. We are the presidents of the United States of America, founded by a bunch of old but semi-smart people. Come to us, we will not let you interfere in this shipment. Don't start running now. Ain't no way they ran from old people. Y'all ran to chase the truck. How lame of you guys. I'll defeat you because my name is Donald J. Trump and I'm the best at everything. You are certainly not the best at everything. If you were that mugshot wouldn't exist. First it's Biden, now it's you Brock Broccoli whatever. You have been getting on my nerves, you little boy. How about you learn to respect your elders? I'm pushing 80 years old here. I have done more things than you have done in your life. And you're flat broke, how about that? Even though that rocket didn't work, take notes, I'm gonna teach you how to stop a flying helicopter. Can you stop yapping? There they are, now we are actually on equal footing. Hop out. This time you guys won't escape. This is already embarrassing having to chase you guys across the entire city and makes us look weak to our citizens. So we will stop you here and now with the full force of the presidents of the United States. Target down, man, target down. Good stuff, Mr. Donald J. Trump. There is one more rascal. Hey guys, I think I see an armed truck on the road. Might want to intercept that with some rockets. Give me a second. I didn't know there was some hiding in the back of the helicopter. Yeah, I see the armed truck deal with that Trump. It may be bad news. Don't worry, it's probably just the military. If you say so, Trump, but if you get shot, I'm not helping. Help, 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 help. Man, you guys are useless. I need another Republican I can rely on. Oh, wait, half of my party doesn't even like me, bruh. Come on, Trump, you can do this. After this, we should be able to go home and you can finally see your wife. And we can get that fresh burger from that one joint downtown. Thank you, Obama, but I'm doing this for my wife and my wife only. Then I'm gonna go see Jill Biden again. Finally, we are done. I can see my family and enjoy some time with my wife. Finally, we are done. Trump, also, I'm getting tired of you talking to my wife. I actually saw Melania just yesterday. But back to the main topic, what exactly did you do for these guys? 